Okay, folks, we're starting off my review of ISOM number one, and I uh, I am irritated from the word go, and what's ironic is I haven't even really encountered much in the way of words yet. I'm only one page into the book, and this page has already irritated me almost beyond this comic's redemption. And the reason being is that I don't know if it's the artist, I don't know if it's the writer, I don't know who exactly is responsible for this uh, little doodling technique I'm going to show you, uh, but it is something that is so distracting and so wrong for the book, wrong for any book, that it really... One of the things that I always tell people is that when you have standards in comics, abide by the standards until you absolutely can't have to. And one of the standards you might encounter is, you know, you don't necessarily want to use the names of actual restaurants. You might invent other names of restaurants. Instead of uh, Olive Garden, maybe you'll call it uh, Olive Flowerland or something. I, I mean, that's a bad example, but I'm just basically saying that if you have a car, perhaps, that's called uh, the the Corolla. Maybe maybe you call the car the Cairo instead. You know, something else, something that's going to be a subtle play on the name, so that you're not infringing on any trademarks. That's perfectly standard in comics, and that's basically what people are going to expect to see. If you need something like a name on a restaurant that's not a real restaurant, or a name on a car that's not a real brand name for a car and you invent something, that's fine. Usually the comic writers find a way to make it a little cutesy poo kind of thing. Um, and then, you know, either that or you just leave it off altogether. I mean, for heaven's sakes, on the back of a car, who says that in a comic book it's important that you put the name on the car? Or you at least manage to make it look, you know, so inaccessible that you don't wind up spending minutes trying to figure out what it is, which is the freaking sin that's on I, the, the first page of ISOM number one. Now, I want you to take a look at the very first page here. It is a page in which it is an establishing shot. Uh, the, the only text that's given us for the reader to read is West Flora Spark Uptown two weeks ago. And then up here you can see the name of the police department. It's West Flora Spark 3rd Police Precinct. And then you've got a couple other words on the page. Or do you? Look at this here. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, what does that say? Is that Spencer's Restaurant? Is that Spider's Restaurant? Is that Chapel's Restaurant? I can't really tell what this says. Likewise, on the back of this car, is that is that Cairo? Is that Caro? Is that Card? Is that... I, I can't really make out what this is. And I, I wound up looking at this and looking at the name of the restaurant for about three minutes trying to figure out what the hell are these things because you know it's up there i mean i assume it's something that's meant to be read if you're going to even put it on the page at all so what the hell is it so finally i took my glasses off thinking well maybe this is just a function of my presbyopia that i can't figure out what it is on the page and what i find out is that no this is actually an indistinguishable blob there's no letters here there's no real letters there's just things that look like letters it's a it's a big ass smudge on there that looks like it could be freaking anything and the same goes for the back of this car too you've got this smudge that looks like it could be a word but it really isn't and I'm like what the fuck you know why am I spending three minutes trying to read this text that doesn't mean anything you know, I should be in the book by now. I should be immersed in the story by now. Instead, I am wasting my goddamn time on lettering that isn't even lettering. All right? And I'm sure somebody said, oh, this is going to be a really cool way to do this. We're just going to throw up uncertain text up there, and people won't be able to really make that out. But, you know, that that's not really the point, because that's not what they really need to be reading anyway. We don't fucking know that. We don't know what we're supposed to be reading. We don't know what's important, okay, until you tell us. So I am already irritated as fuck by the first page of ISOM number one because I have, I have been exposed to this technique of, of trying to hide the identity of some restaurant or some car so that nobody needs to actually go through the process of being imaginative and being creative and finding something to actually put on there. How fucking hard would it have been to just say Spinelli's restaurant? No, 
Seriously? Are you, you think anybody's got that trademarked Spinelli's restaurant? I just thought of that right now. Or on the on the card, what about uh, a, a parrot? You know, a Volkswagen parrot or something like that. Something that doesn't exist. I mean, my God, just stick to what's tried and true and stop trying to be experimental with the stuff that, you know, you don't need a fix for. <sighs> I hope this is not how the whole fucking comic book is going to go because I didn't really spend $35 just to be aggravated page after page. But I'm telling you, one of the things that's irritating me all fucking ready is that on the next page, let's take a look at that, on the next page, look at the top, look at the top left panel. What's going on in that panel? There's a bunch of people looking at a TV and there's no sound coming out. Why? I mean, is that supposed to be some kind? Is this supposed to be some kind of establishing shot? Because what you've got is three guys in a room of we don't even know what size. We're not even sure what freaking building it's in. It might be the police department, but who the hell knows? Could be the restaurant. You didn't really establish that, and you have a whole freaking brick of free space where you could have established that, along with showing a little bit of text from what this guy's going to be saying. I don't care how long you've been reading comics. If you're going to put out a comic book like this, you need to at least pass it to somebody who's been reading it long enough to be able to point out just little freaking things like this that are going to save your readers a lot of trouble in uh, when, when they finally get the book in their hands. I am irritated as fuck right now because I've spent $30 on something where I haven't even gotten to any speech in the book and I'm already pissed at the little flaws that I've caught that, that anybody with any amount of, of comic book experience should know shouldn't be there, okay? Either that or, you know, you need to hand it off to somebody who's got as much or more experience than you and let them get a look at it before you put this thing out. Oh, God, that's just so aggravating. I mean, there's just... I want to like this book. So every time I'm going to stumble across something like this, it's going to irritate the hell out of me because I really want to like this book. But you can't make mistakes like this and 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 say you've you've made something that is of excellent quality. You can't. So, let's all hope that the rest of the book completely redeems these opening baubles. But my god. I I <sighs> It's funny because I, I had another thing that I was reading. Uh, I'm actually reading Matt Wagner's Grendel Devil's Odyssey. And um, it's like the, la the latest and maybe the last in his Grendel series. And I was thinking to myself, I really should probably finish that, that before I, I read this, you know, before I even open this. But then I cracked open. I was like, I'm just going to peek at the first page. I'm just going to peek at the first page, you know, and then I'll go back to reading Grendel Devil's Odyssey. And, you know, I'll see that because, you know, Devil Grendel's Odyssey is OK, but it's, it's not like the finest thing he's ever done. And I just this this thing just completely overtook me. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I may wind up. I may wind up uh, reviewing this thing like a page at a time if I wind up stumbling across stuff like this. Hopefully I won't have to. And I don't know it really if I'm allowed to, so I'm going to try not to uh, because the last thing I want to do is like put together so many different videos on so many different parts that you can kind of read the comic from all the video parts. So I'll, I'll, I'll make a point to avoid doing that. But uh, man, man, way to make the comic irritating from the word go. And when, when it's, there's not even really a word. All right. Okay, I will let you know how it goes from here. But so far, we've already got uh, two, three big bloopers on the area. We've got two big blobs of text that just distract the reader off into a blind alley saying, what the hell is that? And it turns out it's nothing at all. And then we've got a little bit of free space up here that doesn't really establish where you are, who these people are, and you know, what, what it is that they're listening to. All right, we'll see where it goes. I'm Mike Partika. I hope you're having a better time at this than I am. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe.